Hey guys, Pedro here. I'm in the parking lot. I just got here and I'm getting ready to head out to go to see Beyond Creation in Fallujah in the city of Toronto tonight. Uh, I've been excited about this show since the concert was announced, since the tour got announced. It's one of the last dates on the tour. So uh, I'm just glad that there was a Toronto stop. I'm just glad that these two bands are touring together. It's going to be my third time seeing Beyond Creation, first time seeing Fallujah. Really excited about the show, really excited about these two bands. Uh, I'm, I'm really, what a perfect way to cap off this weekend. What a perfect evening that this is going to be. There's four bands on the bill, but let's face it. I'm really here to see Beyond Creation. I'm really here to see Fallujah. And I could not be more excited about tonight, about these two bands. What what are we gonna have in store for us? So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over there. It's not too far from where I'm parked. I'm gonna walk over there. The doors open soon. I think they open in 20 minutes or so. So I'm gonna head over there, check out their merch. Antonio kind of gave me a shopping list of things that he wants from Beyond Creation, including a new pair of shorts. His have a hole in them. So uh, I got to go check out the merch, pick up some stuff before the show gets started. So uh, let's enjoy the night. See you guys inside. Hey guys, Peter here. I just got home from the show tonight and what a show it was for incredible bands. Equipose, Archaic, Fallujah, Beyond Creation. What a lineup of bands. Very similar in sound, very similar in styles, but what a great lineup. The last time I saw a lineup as strong as this one uh, was a, a year ago or so when I saw Beyond Creation with Obscura, 
uh, Archspire and uh, Inferi. So very similar tour, very similar package, great bands. I was really excited to go to this show. I had never heard of uh, any song from Agapose before or Archaic. Uh, I was really interested to see how Fallujah was going to sound live. I had never seen them live. And obviously, I wanted to see Beyond Creation again. I saw them this summer in Guelph at a death metal festival. And they played uh, Algorithm all the way from the beginning to end. And then they added a few extra tracks. It was going to be the same set list tonight. It was going to be the same uh, songs, but I didn't care. I just wanted to see these guys live again. I, if I could go see them every day, I would go see them every day. I just really like uh, this band. It's one of my favorite bands. And I just really enjoy seeing them live. They just elevate their sound even higher when they play live. But let's start with Equipose. Um, Hugo from Beyond Creation plays bass for this band as well. Their singer wasn't able to make it because of some border issues. So they play their whole set instrumental. It was really good. It was Honestly, it was really good. Uh, they put on a clinic. Everybody on that band is an incredible musician. And they put on a clinic. It was really cool to, to hear it for the first time. First time for me hearing the band and hearing it instrumental. Very different, very unique, uh, but very good. I, I was really blown away with how good their set was, how good their sound was. Then after them came Archaic. Uh, heavy, really heavy band. Uh, very good energy. Uh, very good live band. They they interacted with the audience well. The, their, their songs packed a punch and it was a heavy punch. It was a uh, the perfect sequence of bands, if you will. Uh, they came in and, and they really elevated the the atmosphere that the venue had already after the first band. So they did a really good job pushing the envelope, increasing the intensity of the room. They did an amazing job. Amazing band as well. My first time listening to them, I was really impressed. Great vocals, really powerful, matching perfectly the intensity that the tracks have, that the songs have. So I really like that approach. I really like that sound. And I really like how the two really work well together. The next came Fallujah, my first time seeing them. They played three songs from the new album, from their, their latest album. And the rest was pretty much from all over all over the, their discography. So uh, for the fans of, of, the, of the new album, you got to hear three new tracks. And then you got to hear a bunch of the old stuff. For the fans of, of the older tracks, well, you got to hear a lot of the older material. So I think they checked everyone's boxes. I think if, you're, if you went to the show to see Fallujah, I don't think you walked away disappointed. Um, once again, great performance. Uh, I, I really like what they did with the lighting for Fallujah. They kept it really dark. They kept the venue really dark. Uh, the stage very, very dark, uh, just with a few red lights. Uh, it made it hard for me to take pictures or film, but it added to the atmosphere of their performance. So I really enjoyed it from that perspective, really using all the elements in the venue to really enhance the night and enhance their stage show. So I really enjoyed that. I really liked that from them. Uh, great, I mean, great set. They they played amazing. Uh, vocals was just phenomenal. I really enjoy the vocals. Um, specifically in this venue, sometimes you, you don't get necessarily the greatest sound. It's, a, it's, it's the garrison in Toronto and it's not one of the best venues, but it's not one of the worst either. But tonight, the sound, I've been there and shows haven't been sound-wise. They haven't been very good. And sometimes they've been phenomenal. So it's it's always a hit and miss with this uh, with this uh, venue. But today, with with all the bands, but Fallujah specifically, because I felt there was a little bit more aggression with them. Um, it, it really worked out well for them. I really like, like I said, what they did with the lights. It added to the atmosphere of their show. And I really like the fact that they played a little bit of everything from their repertoire. <clears throat> they didn't stick to just a new album. So that to me got me give me a chance to hear a little bit of the older stuff and the newer stuff. And for somebody that's seen them live for the first time, like I was, to me that was a treat. Then comes Beyond Creation. Uh, I, I talked to the guys before the show, and I already had an idea that it was going to be um, uh, pretty much algorithm. They were going to play algorithm from the beginning to end. That's exactly what they did when we saw them. Antonio and I, we saw them, uh, like I said earlier in Guelph at Death uh, Death Metal Festival in Guelph. That's pretty much what they did, and then they played. Uh, two other tracks uh, after they were finished with the uh, uh, with the album they played it from beginning to end with with no no interruptions uh, so I was already familiar with the set I had seen this exact same set this past summer 
to me, to be honest with you, that to me is not a deterrent. I, I would go see these guys if they were painting a room uh, and, and humming some melodies while doing it. So I, to me, it doesn't really matter. I would always want to go see them, regardless if I had already seen this exact same set just a few months ago. So I, 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 didn't, I really enjoyed it. it. It's just these guys, I mean... I love their studio stuff, don't get me wrong, but listening to them live is just a different feel. They just elevate their sound, the performance, seeing Yugo play the bass live, mesmerizing. The guy is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, seeing, you know, everybody else, like the, the, the whole band is absolutely solid. Uh, and they're solid live. They really are. They're just a band that really elevates their game when they're performing live um, on all assets of the game and all assets of their sound and all assets of their music. It's just they seem to really thrive in a live setting and they just really elevate their game and they elevate their sound and make the songs even more powerful, uh, heavier, stronger, more dynamic, more fluid. I just absolutely love to see these guys play. And now it's been a treat for me to see algorithm being played from beginning to end twice. Uh, I, I just I, I just love seeing these guys live. They, don't, they they can do no wrong. They just have a great atmosphere to their set. They bring that atmosphere to the stage. They're not a band that interacts a lot with the audience, and that's fine because it doesn't. It, it, it by playing the songs one after another without the minimal amount of interaction and without uh, without breaking too much. Uh, the set allows it to be very fluid, very dynamic, very continuous, and you really feel like they're, like they're playing the record live. So I, I really enjoy that. I, I like the fact that they do it that way for their specific sound, for their specific approach. And when you're playing an album from beginning to end, it works extremely well, and I really like it. And tonight was no different. Uh, like I said, they only have two more shows, so there's not many more opportunities for you guys to catch these guys on the road. But I'm sure there will be more tours, uh, there will be more shows, but tonight was a great night, seeing Beyond Creation, always a treat. I'm hoping that these guys are playing Heavy Montreal next year. I would love to see them at Heavy Montreal, that would be an absolute blast. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that these guys will be added to the Heavy Montreal lineup whenever they start announcing the lineup. Alright guys, this is it for today, uh, come back tomorrow, we'll have some more videos for you, alright? Take care guys.